welcome to easy btech your guide for btech and beyond in this video you'll learn about the performance performance of long transmission lines by using rigorous solution in nominal T nominal by load and condenser method or short transmission lines we assumed that the parameters are lumped parameters but in long transmission lines the or l c d parameters are not lumped parameters those are distributed parameters keep in mind those are distributed parameters are not separated from the circuit or system therefore it is the resistance inductance is capacitance and g is conductance okay all four parameters are distributed parameters not lumped parameters therefore i will draw the diagram of uh, long transmission line with this parameters long transmission line having the resistance inductance or series parameters and ten parameters or conductance and capacitance Okay, now the series parameters are R and XL, the shunt parameters are conductance and capacitance. Again, the resistance, inductance, conductance, capacitance. Like that, the toward the line but near to the receiving end is RL. This is the receiving end. Here we are having the load. Across the load, the voltage is this load. Voltage is V R. The receiving end current I R. This is sending end current I S. Then it is V S. Okay. Actually, if you are consider R L C, the R L C G parameters are distributed parameters. We have to analyze this type of network. Okay, this is actual long transmission line. If you are assume the RLCG parameters or distributed parameter, what happened here? Here immediately, if you are exciting the, if you are exciting the sending end, immediately the voltage is not available at the receiving end because the inductance and capacitance we know that the inductance does not allow the sudden changes in the current therefore initially it is act as an open circuit then there is no energy for remaining circuits after some time it allows the current and we know that capacitance does not allow the sudden changes in voltage then it is act as a capacitor is a short circuit then there is no energy for remaining circuit then like that the uh, the transmission line is energized and after some time it reaches the receiving end okay this is actually happening in overhead long transmission now for analyzing this type of it is very complex to analyze the circuit if you are parameters large number of parameters is there the two those are distributed parameters it is very difficult to consider the uh, normal methods that's why we will go for a rigorous solution for long transmission lines the rigorous solution
the rigor resolution i am considering a transmission line considering a transmission line both the sending and the receiving end this is sending end voltage sending end current this is a receiving end current the receiving voltage here i am connecting the load here the transmission line okay i am taking a, a small differential length dx at the dx uh, small z is the impedance small y is the admittance at this small differential length this is a small differential length the current after this differential length is i the voltage after this differential length is v the before this differential length the current is i plus di and voltage is v plus dv okay now the total length of the transmission line is l i am considering this differential length from the receiving end it is x okay from the receiving end i am considering this differential length x distance from the receiving end okay keep in mind those points now here from this above diagram z is a series impedance z is a series impedance it is the combination of resistance and inductance impedance of the line per unit length y is shunt admittance of the line per unit length next uh, v v is voltage at the end of the dx i am considering the length is dx towards the receiving end side towards the receiving end side i am having this v, v is after this uh, dx towards the receiving end d v plus dv towards sending end now v plus dv or voltage at the starting at the starting of the dx towards sending end towards the sending end okay, those are the junctions so i am taking the small differential length dx small length dx z into dx is impedance of that particular distance it is a small i am representing the, this is a small z keep in mind in my class i am representing this is capital z this is a small z i am representing we have to keep in mind and uh, y dx y dx is a shunt admittance shunt admittance for that length okay, i am representing capital y is like this and small y is like this okay. keep in mind throughout the derivation now from the circuit from the circuit v plus dv equals to when we will get this uh, drop drop of the length length dx plus v okay therefore v plus dv equals to the drop the current flowing through the line is i the impedance of that particular length is dx plus v here v we get cancelled therefore finally what you get dv equals to 
i into z into dx from this dv by dx equals to i into z small z it is equation one okay now like that the current i plus di equals to the leakage current leakage current in dx plus i i plus di equals to the leakage current formula is v into y dx plus i therefore i i get cancelled finally you get di equals to v y dx from this di by d y dx equals to v into y this is equation now differentiate equation one with respect to x what is equation one equation one is nothing but dv by dx equals to i into z differentiate this equation with respect to x we get differentiate that one with respect to x okay. we get after the differentiation uh, we get the uh, solution for our equation is after differentiation the solution is v equals to a1 into cos h x root yz plus a2 into sin h x root yz representing the small z this is this is uh, uh much is we have to differentiate the above equation we get this is equation this is equation one this is equation two therefore after differentiating differentiating with respect to x we get differentiate the equation we get uh, this is this is after differentiate and we get d square v by dx square equals to z into di by dx it is z into y into v okay di by dx already we know this is uh, this term this is from equation 2 di by dx equals to y into v substitute here this is equation 3 equation 3 okay now the solution of this equation is this one solution of this this equation is this one therefore we get say this is v and differentiate this is equation 4 this is equation 4 differentiate equation 4 with respect to x we get uh, after differentiation we get dv by dx equals to a1 root y into z do sin h x root y z plus a2 into root y z cos h into x root y z okay. what is dv by dx from equation one from equation one the dv by dx equals to i into z therefore substitute here in the place of dv by dx equals to i into z therefore i into z equals to a1 root yz sin h x root yz x root yz 
plus k2 root yz cos h x root yz okay now from this equation if you come on yz you can get the expression is k1 sin h x into root yz plus k2 there is no k2 cos h x root yz okay now i equals to i equals to root yz by z into k1 sin h x root yz plus k2 cos h x root yz here A root of y z by z square into k1 into sin h x root y z plus k2 into cos h x root y z okay now this z and z square get cancelled you can get the root of y into z into k1 sin h x root y z plus k2 cos h x root y z okay. now this is the formula for i okay we derived the equations for v and y from this equation 4 indicates that uh, v expression equation 5 express that the current i expression from the this one okay now the equation 4 and equation 5 the voltage and current expressions the unknowns are we don't know the constants k1 and k2 we have to calculate k1 and k2 the procedure to calculate k1 and k2 is k1 and k2 constants are substitute can be obtained by substituting x equals to 0 what happen if x equals to 0 this is the transmission line uh, at the distance of ax we assumed that from the receiving end this is the vr and ir is the receiving in voltage and current v and i are the at the after this differential length dx if x equals to 0 it indicates that the voltage and current at receiving end those are vr into ir therefore v equals to vr okay substitute v equals to vr and i equals to ir in equation 4 what is the equation for v equals to a1 cos h into x root yz plus a2 into cos h this is not cos this is sine sine x root yz substitute x equals to 0 substitute x equals to 0 therefore the entire term this one becomes 1 to 1 plus k2 into this term becomes 0 therefore k2 into 0 therefore v becomes at x equals to 0 it is vr vr equals to k1 into 1 plus k2 into 0 we can get vr is k1 therefore k1 is nothing but vr next for k2 for k2 for substitute x equals to 0 v equals to vr and i equals to ir in equation 5 we get k2 expression what is the expression k i equals to equation 5 is the root y by z to a1 
assign head x two to y z plus a two cos h into x two to y z. Okay. Now substitute x equals to zero here. Substitute x equals to zero. The entire term becomes zero. Substitute x equal to zero. The entire term becomes one. Therefore, this one i becomes i r. Therefore, root y into z a two. Okay. Therefore, k two equals to. Therefore, from the expression k two equals to root of z by y into i. This is the expression for k two. Okay, now we are calculated K one and K two in terms of receiving end voltage and receiving end current. Then substitute K one and K two values. K one equals to V R and K two equals to root of Z by Y into I R. Okay, substitute in equation four, you get V equals to actual formula is K one into cos H. X root y z plus k two into sine h x root y z. Substitute k one equal to v r here. V r into cos h x root y z plus k two is root of z into y into i r sine h x root y z. So this is the expression for V. I equals to I equals to the expression for I is the root of y into z into k one sine h x root y z plus k two cos h x root y z. Then that this is equation six. It is root y into z. K one is v r sine h x root y z plus k two is root z by y into i r cos h x root y z. Equation seven is i. Now. For sending and voltage and current, for sending and voltage and current, we have to substitute. Have to substitute the. Have to substitute. X equals to L. If X equals to L, the V equals to V S and I equals to I S. Okay. Okay. Now. By substituting, here also bracket is there. Now, by substituting x equals to L, v equals to v s, and i equals to i s in equation and uh, v equation. Just now we derived this v, this equation six. In equation six substitute v equals to v s and x equals to L. We get v s equals to v s equals to v or cos. L into root into Z plus root Z by Y into I R sine H cos H sine H L into root by Z. Okay. From this, V R equals to cos H. If L is an under root, Y Z L square plus root Z by Y I R sine H root Y Z L square. What is this root Y Z L square? We can write it as Y into L to Z into Z. What is Y into L? Is nothing but 
it is per unit length this is total distance of the transmission line therefore it is equals to the entire transmission line admittance why what is z into l z into l is nothing but impedance per unit length into total length therefore capital z is total impedance of the transmission line therefore we have to replace this we have to replace this one with capital y and capital z okay. therefore this one vs equals to pr cos h we can write it as total admittance into total impedance plus the root of we can write is l by l l by l we can get this one is a total jet total admittance of the transmission line pr into sin h capital y into capital z under root okay this is the expression for sending end voltage sending end current and equation 7 we have to substitute i equals to is therefore this expression becomes y by z into p or sin h x root y z plus root z by y into i r cos h x root y z is the equation 7 in this equation uh, okay here yeah, this is the equation 7 in this equation we have to substitute i equals to i s multiply these two terms we can get this is a root of l by l we have to write this is capital y divided by capital z into v or sin h substitute x equals to l under a root it is becomes l square y into l z into l it becomes capital y into capital z plus multiplication of these two terms a root y by z into root z by y becomes 1 therefore here there is no term therefore it is equals to ir into cos h substitute x equals to l under root it is z square it becomes capital y into z this is the equation 9 these are the expressions for sending end voltage and sending end currents okay if you compare, I am writing the equations of Vs and Is here. Vs equals to V or cos H. Okay, some only root by Z plus the root of Z by Y I or sin h root y into z and is equals to is equals to root capital y by z your sin h root y into z plus ir into cos h root y into z okay now the abcd parameter for this transmission line is we know that uh, Vs equals to AVR plus BIR and IS equals to CVR plus DIR. Compare these two equations with this one. You can get A equals to cos H root by into Z and B equals to root by Z by Y capital Z by Y into sin h root y into z c equals to root of capital y by z into sin h root y z and d equals to cos h root y into z and assume that both a and d both are same how we can calculate these hyperbolic functions uh, the cos h Cos 
h root y z we can calculate 1 plus z y by 2 plus z square y square divided by 24 like this and sine h root y z equals to root y z plus y z power 3 by 2 divided by 6 plus so on okay now the okay this is the way we will calculate the performance of the transmission line by calculating this abcd parameters by substituting those abcd parameters in this equation we can get vs is and pass by s also from that you can calculate efficiency and the regulation of the transmission okay thank you for watching this